our solution has virtual desktops all around the globe. We have two redundant data centers. Uh, we load balance the load across both data centers. We stream literally all around the world from two data centers currently in the United States. It allows us to basically rapidly provision new applications and updates and it keeps our users happy because if there's a new update to their proprietary application, we're able to quickly deploy it. Basically, we're able to control our users the way we need them to be used. The solution uh, readily uh, proved itself to be effective for this particular user community. During the uh, tragic tsunami event in Japan, we had deployed this solution with full redundancy and failover in mind, and it performed as promised. The view component integrated nicely with what we had in place. We were able to extend that solution on the platform that we had to provide high availability, site redundancy, and failover. All of those are key attributes for the solution that we were providing for this particular user community. We're able to back up all of our users' desktops. We can restore them all really quickly. And on top of that, we don't have to worry about any of our data being out at our customer sites. We don't have to worry about it. We have all of our data internal. We have no data at rest. And for security, that, that's a huge impact for us. We are working on a program for the Department of Defense for emergency responders. This program supports all the different anti-terrorism, natural disasters, and man-made disasters. To do that, we use virtual desktops, VMware View specifically. This provides us a wide range of abilities. Not only can we ramp up immediately for emergencies, we can provision desktops on the fly. There's a lot of enhancements that this gives us that we didn't have before. It really has a huge impact. There were emergency managers utilizing the solution to monitor these events as they were unfolding. In an entirely unrelated incident, the data center in uh, Southern California that we were using to stream these virtual desktops to this user community in the Pacific Rim had lost power. This was completely unrelated to the tsunami event, but uh, of course happened nonetheless at uh, the most inopportune time. The solution performed as we had expected. We seamlessly failed over the services to our redundant data center on the East Coast and were able to continue streaming those services to that user community so that they could continue to respond. Our users don't even know that they're using a virtual desktop. They think that whatever they have there at their desk, that is their desktop. PC over IP over a WAN, long distances, it works great. The benefit that that gives us is, is if we have a data center that goes offline, the users will get disconnected, but then when they try to reconnect, they'll reconnect automatically to the other data center. So we can either take a data center offline during the middle of the day for maintenance, or if we lose connectivity, power outage or whatever, uh, the users will automatically connect to the other side. What we found right away was that uh, it introduced some, some huge efficiencies for us. We were able to, with a very minimal staff, provide support to this large group, this large uh, user community. The VMware View solution enabled us to seamlessly integrate all of those applications. From an IT perspective, this basically was one of the easiest things to deploy. My IT guys can provision desktops quickly, they can delete desktops quickly, they can update and patch stuff quickly. We use smart card authentication because it's required for DoD. I've done a lot of smart card authentication things and this was by far the easiest. It was basically just configuring uh, one file. Once I had it there and I had it set up on my primary site, I was able to just copy a file over to the other site and then reboot the server and it was CAC enabled. It works really quite flawlessly. The uh, zero clients that we have have been, uh, for me, it, it, it's a dream come true because I don't have to manage any equipment. I manage all these zero clients from a centralized portal. I can push firmware updates to them, I can change settings, I can make them all connect to one data center as opposed to the other one. I'm able to basically support all this stuff with a small staff. That's been critical uh, from day one in taking on this responsibility and I can tell you firsthand that this solution definitely has delivered for us.